Arizona social worker at Woodside Place, uh, and we're here today to talk about uh, the Warhol program that we do with our residents and adult day participants. The Warhol program um, is a um, program where we bring residents from Woodside Place as well as adult day participants down to the Warhol Museum um, and we get to have um, a breakfast um, and then we do an art project uh, which is inspired by the um, art educators at the Warhol Museum um, and it varies each time we come down um, and it's a way for the residents and the participants to um, find their inner creativity and um, to display it um, for the world to see. Um, and we also get to, um, when we're not doing our art projects, we get to go up and actually see some of the art exhibits um, that the world has. And uh, Andy Warhol, he um, did a lot of pieces with Marilyn Monroe and Elvis Presley and John, um, John JFK. Um, and it's really nice for our residents and participants to come down and get to see that because it helps bring back memories from, um, you know, when they were younger. And a lot of times the, uh, the individuals who come here, they all have dementia. Um, and so it's a great way to bring back memories from uh, their youth and they then share, um, you know, different experiences with those um, figurines and history. Well, it's, it's really important because, um, you know, they get to go out and, and be a part of the community and they get to, um, you know, be exposed to um, different cultural events and um, exhibits. Um, it allows them to, you know, really express themselves in ways that they may not be able to do uh, at home with their families or, um, you know, uh, in, in their home um, at a Woodside place. It's a way for them to express themselves in different ways um, and just, just be out, you know, and do things like other folks do. Um, the Warhol uh, has, uh, you know, been wonderful with um, allowing us uh, creative expression, I guess you could say, um, and allowing us to um, change with uh, what our residents and participants' um, interests are. Um, so we originally had an idea, and then as we keep coming down, this is our 12th time today, um, we, we expand on the ideas and the projects that we do here. We do it just with our residents at Woodside Place uh, and the adult day participants, um, but if people are interested in volunteering, um, they're more than welcome to call Woodside Place. Um, so if people are interested in volunteering or learning more about um, our program here at the Warhol Museum, they're more than welcome to call myself, Jen Marasco, at Presbyterian Senior Care's Woodside Place, and my phone number is 412-826-6536, um, and I'd be happy to tell them about what we do um, and give them more information, uh, and, and we would love to partner with anyone who has interest. So I started at Woodside Place uh, in... March of 2012, um, and I was going to different events in the community, and the University of Pitt, they put on a presentation called Forget Memory, um, and it was down at the Rodef Shalom building, uh, and I went um, the middle of May, I believe it was, uh, and Tressa Varner, who works at the Warhol Museum, she was one of the panel speakers there, and she discussed some of the programs that the Warhol does, uh, specifically uh, with individuals with dementia and also with children. And I was aware of a program that Woodside Place does called In the Moment, and we partner with Carnegie Museum of Art. And I thought it'd be a great way to connect with the Warhol and to go to a different museum um, and to expand, you know, our resources. Um, so I met with Tressa after the presentation and just introduced myself and, and told her my ideas. Um, and she later met with myself and Tino Pina, our recreational director at Woodside Place. Um, and we kind of um, threw some ideas back and forth and we came up with our program and our first um, actual time at the museum was last October 4th, um, 2012, um, and we brought five or six residents down uh, with some volunteers, and like I said, we had the breakfast, which was really nice and unexpected. They provided for us, which was very sweet, um, and then we did an art project. Uh, we created these tote bags here. Um, so first what we do is we paint on the block here that's colored. Um, and then after it dries, uh, while it's drying actually, we go up and we look at the different exhibits and we have a specialized tour and have discussion and random things happen on those tours because you can never predict what people are going to say or do. A lot of times, uh, the first few times we went, um, singing spontaneously occurred which is really nice. Um, but while our uh, tote bags are drying while we're upstairs, we come back down. Um, and then we screen print over them, and that's the big thing Andy Warhol's known for. Um, and so we get to do that ourselves, and they do a little um, um, educating with our residents and participants about that process, and then they actually get to do it themselves. Um, so the black here is what they've screen printed on. And then once that dries while we're eating lunch, we get to take it home, and they get to you know, have this take-home gift 
um, that they could you know, use for themselves or share with their family and friends. Um, it's just a nice way to remind them um, you know, that they came to the War Hall or it's, uh, it's something that we could talk about because um, we're always looking for ways to connect with our residents um, and engage them in what they've done previously. It's amazing. You'll have people who really don't talk that much, um, who are reserved, who will come down here and you give them, you know, a paintbrush and a canvas and, you know, they get to express themselves. They'll start giggling, they'll start laughing, they'll start spontaneously having conversations. When we go up to the exhibits, that's the amazing part as well. Um, you know, we'll bring up the memories of Elvis and JFK and um, Jackie Onassis. And so they'll spark, start spontaneously telling us stories from when they were in high school. Um, one lady in particular, <laughs> she was telling us a story about Elvis Presley, came to her high school, and so that went into a whole story about that, and then she ended up singing and dancing for us, which then allows other people to sing and dance, and we were up in the galleries and the art educators were laughing at us and joining in, and so it's just a fun way, you know, to let them share their stories and then be goofy, because um, a lot of times you don't get to see that, and, and so they, they get to, you know, just express themselves and, and just be free, um, and so the art allows them to do that, um, you know, on a canvas, um, on postcards that we made or boxes, but then they also get to um, express themselves through dance or song or, or just discussion. Um, and I think that's really important because so many times they do have things to share and they do have things to educate us. Um, they just have to find a way um, that's safe for them to bring that out. I'm just really proud of what we've been able to do here and all the people that we've been able to bring down. And the art educators have been amazing and they've really um, grown with us because um, we are working with individuals with dementia and it's not always the easiest and you never know, you know how someone may react to an exhibit or to an outing. Um, so the art educators, what they've done to um, educate themselves um, on what our residents are going through is they actually come through our dementia training, um, which is an all-day event at Woodside Place. So uh, we get to bring our residents down here and they get to experience them in this environment, but they actually get to come to their homes at Woodside Place in Oakmont um, and get to see where they live and where they interact you know, all the time. Um, and then they get to be educated on what dementia is like. Um, and so uh, so they're educating us about Warhol and giving us this experience, but we're also educating them about um, this, this illness that's affecting so many millions of people in the world.